I just left room one. There's a space in there if you want it, Eric. Hear me, boy. Hi, friends. Host Eric here. It's talking with fans, people. What do I have to tell you tonight? Quite a bit, really. I'm struck again and again. by the reality that finally all the pieces are in place. But I really couldn't uh, Go any further until I addressed the uh, What the hell? Do I have no more t-shirts with me? I just have non-t-shirts. There we go. I found one. So, yeah. Um, I think there's a, a vending machine, yeah, but I don't know if we have any more ones. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's right by the ice machine. I've got coins. Here. Here. Here, Kimberly. Too warm for Kimberly. The ice bucket. It's right there. Okay, so yeah, I think so. Turn this over again now that I'm properly clad in clothing. Are you recording? Everything's in place now. I'm struck again and again by the fact that I spent 45 years waiting for things to be in place. And what I mean by that specifically is Oh, is that you, Ken? Do you not hear me? 
I'm waiting for my duel. And one's duel results in a lot more shit than you'd think, maybe. I feel... Well, I mean, I feel as though there's an absence of void that I've had forever. <laughs> You can just pour the water over the ice in a cup. In their cup right there, yeah. Can you, can you take it off the bed? I'm not trying to find anything to complain about. I, I, I was making a video right now about how wonderful you are. I'm making a video right now about how wonderful you are. That's not, I'm not trying to find something to complain about. Anyway, I was explaining to everybody how I've been waiting 45 years, and I think that that's weird that people can spend that long without being with their duel. But what the hell do you think is going to happen? People are going to be incomplete. It's like all the ways in which I fail, she makes me fail less just by failing more herself with them. And all the ways in which I succeed, she appreciates. And vice versa. It, it's incredibly liberating. I find it almost impossible to engage in any pseudo attacky bullshit that one normally engages in. Like passive aggressive stuff or pissy ass stuff, you know. I just it just doesn't fly in any way, shape or form. It, there's nothing about this relationship that causes those sort of behaviors to persist or grow. They just wash out. When we were fishing today, after she caught a fish, I think we started really having fun as we got it. It's like after she, she caught a fish, we both sort of settled into the fishing. <laughs> and and it was cool. And then we both were ready to go at the same time. Neither of us particularly cares a lot about getting their way about little shit, but she tends to defer to let me get my way about a lot of little shit. Sometimes I'll be like, what do you want to eat? She'll be like, I don't care. And then I'll say, okay, well, how about this? And she'll go, no. She likes to do that. She likes to first tell me that she has no preference. 
until I voice preference, at which point we learned that, in fact, she does have a preference. <laughs> it's something other than what Eric wanted. So that's totally fine. You know? All right. And rather than a dispirited mood earlier after Emma and Brandon lost, she did the smart thing, which is she didn't say anything. After Brandon, after Brandon and Edmund lost, and I was going through my walk of going over shit in my head, it's kind of a demoralized time. I hate losing. It was that she didn't know what to say. But as a consequence, she chose not to say anything, which is very smart because in those moments, that's when I'm likely to lash out a little bit or say something stupid. I don't know. It's like if you expect me to be reasonable in those moments, that'll lead to comment, uh, conflict because, okay, Eric, that's enough, blah, 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 would just brown me up. Whereas, silence or I mean it's like a way I, I interpret it as she's taking my upsetness seriously as opposed to trying to control it and it's not like I was freaking out or anything I was silent too I was just sort of mumbling to myself grumbling to myself and stopping periodically and like shaking my head like so I mean it's not like I'm acting out anyway but but it's easy to imagine a significant other not liking that and saying something about it so that's for example of how duels work in little unexpected ways Or maybe unpredictable would be a right, better word. <laughs> well, another example is well, like. Generally, I think prioritize not getting mad. I feel like I do. Anyway. I think she she probably didn't have to work hard to prioritize it. But what I mean by I prioritize not getting mad, it's not even I prioritize it. It just seems so not worth getting mad about, no matter what it is. So, it's like when yesterday she was supposed to pick me up, she lost track of time and wanted her to pick me up, but it didn't, that didn't get me mad at all. It just took Uber back to the hotel. I was like, eh, whatever. But of course, why did it matter? Because when she did contact me, she opened with, I'm so sorry, blah, 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 blah. You know? If she had opened with, well, I mean, you didn't wait there for me? I would have been like, uh, really? We need to have a little talk. <laughs> um, yeah. I, and I, I'd like to think she found it relieving to discover that I wasn't upset about that. She just felt bad. See, she wasn't worried about my feelings being upset. She just felt bad. And that's introverted feelings. The guidance that I get for her, one example of it. Another example is 
she puts in the effort to make me feel loved, to remind me that she cares about me. So I was explaining earlier this morning that one of the reasons I tend to get a little bit jealous or suspicious or whatever about nothing, about absolutely nothing, but um, because I feel so strongly and I don't know what to do with my feelings. And when I say I feel so strongly, I mean, I don't know. I, I can't even explain that stuff. I, I don't even know where to begin. Anyhow, the point of this story is that everybody needs to find their duel. So the next is right. I also find it hard to believe that it took humanity 15,000 years to figure this out? I mean, why, why didn't nobody figure it out before? Anyway, I'm super tired. I feel like I'm going to sleep right now almost. Probably doesn't help that I'm lying in bed. Tends to make one a little bit sleepy. Anyhow, though I'd love to chill with you all forever, I'm going to go to bed now. Bye, good night, and don't forget to eat plenty of cheese.